Hello, welcome to our today's lesson. Today I'm looking at this particular question of May 2014. This particular question of May 2014, May 2014. And specifically, I will be using this special session to teach you, my good audience, how to calculate cost of debt, which is redeemable. Cost of debt, which is redeemable, using the yield to maturity period. Yield to maturity period. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this May 2014 question number 4B. You can see from the capital structure, the debt is 27 million. Its par value is 100. The particular note talking about the debt, the particular note talking about the debt is note number 7. Note number 7, you can see the company will sell 12% debentures with a maturity period of 10 years at shillings 90 per debenture. The par value of the debenture is 100. So then how are we going to get this cost of debt? Debt whose maturity period has been specified in the question. That is a redeemable debt. Ladies and gentlemen, for redeemable debt, step number one, calculate yield to maturity. Step number one, calculate yield to maturity. What basically we are calling YTM. So yield to maturity, we normally look at this particular person who has got this redeemable bond will benefit in two ways. He'll get interest. And then at the end of the day, of course, there is the concept of there is the concept of the capital gain. How do we get the capital gain? We normally look at the face value or the power value minus the market value of the bond, the price at which you will buy. Divided by the number of uh, years to maturity. All over the average investment. How do we get average investment? It is F plus BO divided by 2. F plus BO divided by 2. So please, I want us to calculate the yield to maturity for this particular bond. So we have, first of all, the interest. Remember, interest will give you the coupon interest rate, which is 12% of the par value, which is 12% of our par value, that is 100, which gives us 12. The par value, face value, is 100. And then the market price of the bond, the market price of this debt instrument, they have told us the market price is 90. 90. The market price is 90. Now, ladies and gentlemen, having all this, we should be able to get yield to maturity very easily. The interest, interest we have here is uh, 12 plus face value is 100 minus BO, which is 90. Divided by number of years are 10 years to maturity. Divided by, we have here face value, which is 100 plus 90, divided by 2, average investment. Then this one here will be equal to what? We shall talk of 12 plus, into brackets here, 100 minus 90, close, divided by 10 equals, which gives us 13, divided by 100 plus 90 equals divided by 2, which gives us 95. So 13 divided by 95 gives us 0 0.1368, which is the same as 13.68%. After you get yield to maturity, our cost of debt after tax will be equal to yield to maturity adjusted for tax purposes. So yield to maturity is 13.68%, times the tax rate has been given as 30%, so 1 minus 0.3, which basically will be 13.68% times 0 0.1 what year? 7. So we have here 13.68 times 0.7, which gives us 9.58%. 9.58%. And that is how basically you get to calculate the cost of debt of redeemable, cost of debt of redeemable, bonds of redeemable bonds so for those of you of course who have got our revision kits they need to go 
straight away and, enable, and be able to see how this examiner, how this author here has been able to combine those particular cost elements to come up with a WACC. Otherwise, it was a pleasure having you today. Please share this clip widely so we can have our brothers and sisters getting help from the comfort of their homes. This thing of coming all the way to town with all these traffic jams, ladies and gentlemen, is time wasteful. Let us optimize our timings so that we can be able to do what here, pass our exams very easily. So please call all of them to come and join us. Thank you very much.